Welcome back everyone. Today I want to focus solely on the anniversary event. I'll be covering the basic information like when it is, what kind of tools you can use, and just in general, my tips and recommendations for how to go about going through the event. So first off, when is the event? The anniversary event will start this Friday, September 17th at 8am Eastern, and will last until Thursday, November 4th at 8am Eastern as well. So in total, you'll have 47 full days to play all the battles in all your ships to receive the rewards from them. You need either a win in a battle, or a battle that generates at least 300 base XP. This can both be from random battles, or from co-op battles. So what kind of rewards can you expect? For tiers 5 through 7, you can get one festive token for the first accomplishment of that threshold. For tiers 8 through 9, you can get a festive token and a gift container. And for tier 10, you can get one super container for that first time that you cross that threshold in each of your ships. So now I'm going to get into my actual personal recommendations for how to go about the event. I know that in the past, it was very common for people to flock to co-op battles to achieve that one win. So people really didn't play random battles a whole lot in order to get all of these rewards from past events such as the New Year's and birthday events. But now, because of that 300 base XP threshold, it actually makes it a lot easier to play random battles and still get the threshold met. Most of the time, you can achieve that threshold with even a loss in random battles. For me, I will probably still end up playing co-op battles. For instance, let me walk you through some of the math as to why I came to this conclusion. For me, I have 312 ships total, and let's just use the two assumptions. One, that a random battle will typically take 15 minutes for either a win or a loss. Whereas co-op battles are much quicker. Typically, they can run around 5 minutes. So if we use those averages in those different battle types, and we have the number of ships that we have, we know that we can just multiply those minutes per battle times the number of ships that we have, and that gives us the total play time that we would have to play to get through all those ships. So in total for random battles, assuming 15 minutes per battle, you're looking at 78 hours for me personally. Whereas if I were to play co-op, well since it's one third of the time, I would only be playing 26 hours total to get all those ships accomplished. To put that into perspective, if I were to do this over the course of the 47 days equally and split every battle up equally into that time frame, you're looking at, for random battles, playing about an hour and a half per day for 47 days straight. So if you were to play co-op, that would actually be playing for only half an hour a day for 47 days straight. To me, playing co-ops and just getting them done very quickly is just so much more satisfying to me. So one way to track your progress is to track the little icons via the filter button in your port. That's a very helpful feature that I'm super glad the Wargaming is included, but I still feel that it can be easier to track your progress using an external tool. And I'm going to be covering that tool in detail here in a second. So let's take a look at the birthday whaling tool that you can use on a website that allows you to just track your progress as you start completing these rewards for all your ships. So first thing, when you follow the link that I have listed in the description down below, it will bring you to this web page. Now, one thing that you'll really need to be aware of is the rules of this site that this site uses. Due to the rules that Wargaming has used for the event on earning 300 base XP in order to blow off the snowflake, this website will not be able to actually track whether or not you have reached that threshold. So. In general, this website just assumes that all the battles that you play in these ships will achieve that goal. So that's important to know because you might see some false positives as you do this, and you'll be like, oh wow, this, this has it that I have this completed, but I know that I didn't do it yet. Then that's up to you to just know that you need to replay that ship. Simple as that. But when you come to this website, to log in to your Wargaming account, all you have to do is click on your respective server, and that'll bring you to a login page on the Wargaming website, but I'm already logged in, so confirm that. And then it's going to load all of your ships. And so you can see for me, 
for tier 5 to tier 7 ships, I have 154 of them. And so it'll count as you start completing these and start playing the battles in them, that it'll start crossing off those ships and increasing that tally to let you know how close you are to finishing all your ships. One really cool tool also that this website has is that you can include ships that you that you used to have in port previously. So if you ever decided to sell your ships in the past for credits, um, whether for grinding or whatever other reason, this will this button will include those ships in this count to tell you how many more rewards you could get if you were to buy those ships back and play those. So that's really nice because in the in the past years that I've used this tool, um, it actually led me to go back and repurchase some of my ships so that I could get those rewards. Similarly, for the tier 8 and 9 ships, you can see that it has the same tracker for the both the tokens and the anniversary containers. Same thing, you can include or not include the ships that you previously had in port. And then lastly, for the tier 10 ships, you get to track your super containers. Uh, I know for me personally, I'll be using this tool because... I'm really excited at the aspect of having 44 super containers to open all at once. That'll probably be another video that I do. But until then, this tool will be the thing that I use to track my progress. So again, I have that link down in the description below for you to use and for you to sign in and track your progress. Apart from actually just playing ships and getting the rewards that way, there are a few other things that are actually happening for the anniversary event besides things in-game. One of these being the World of Warships Anniversary stream on Twitch. The stream on Twitch will start tomorrow morning, Friday, September 17th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and will end at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, so it'll last for about 9 hours. When you watch the stream for at least 2 hours of the Anniversary stream, you'll receive a special mission chain. And once you have that mission chain, you'll have until October 4th to achieve the mission and complete it, and you will be rewarded with three super containers, as well as a Her Majesty's Naval Toaster Flag, which is kind of funny in my opinion. If you continue watching further, for a total of four hours, you can get three Twitch Prime camouflages and three Stream Dream camouflages. And on top of that, if you're a fan of community tokens, if at any point during that stream, if there are 40,000 concurrent viewers watching at the same time, they're actually going to be doing an anniversary drop that those 40,000 viewers or more only have to watch an additional 15 minutes and you'll receive 1,000 community tokens. Another unique way to get rewards from the anniversary event starting tomorrow is through the World of Warships, six years of World of Warships collection that will be dropping as well. The reward for completing the collection is actually a super container six gift containers, and the six years of World of Warships commemorative flag. So the last thing that I want to cover before wrapping up is just what can you spend all of these festive tokens on? You've accumulated them through all of your ship playing, and now you want to go spend them, so what can you buy? The available things to purchase with those festive tokens will be the following. You can exchange them for containers for the six years of World of Warships collection, you can also get six years of World of Warships permanent camouflages for ships the Leon, York, Shores, Gajamata, Akatsuki, and Zara. You can also get gift containers, distant voyages containers, as well as World of Warships anniversary expendable camouflages. If you decide that none of the options that, sh that are available in the armory are worth spending those festive tokens on, then those festive tokens will automatically be converted to credits at a rate of one festive token will be converted to 90,000 in-game credits. But with that, that'll wrap it up. Let me know, what do you plan to do to actually knock off all of these anniversary snowflakes? Are you going to be playing lots of co-op like I am? Are you going to be doing divisions and randoms? Uh, doing ranked battles? Or are you going to be doing it through the game mode operations? Thanks so much for watching guys, and if you like this content, like and subscribe. It'd be a great help to me and the channel. Have a good one, guys.